everyone, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we are going to see the clinical importance of slow speed, long neck bursts in endodontics. And we are also going to do a product review from Comet, which is the Endo Tracer, which is a pack of long neck bursts, slow speed long neck bursts. When I say slow speed, they are meant to be used with contra angle micromotor handpiece. And they have, when this package contains 12 different long neck bursts, they have six different sizes and each size is going to have or uh, come in two different lengths that is 31 millimeters and 34 millimeters so the color coding is, goes this way the smallest one is the purple and the largest one is the green so depending on which tooth you are working and the area that you are working or the level of root canal that you are working you can choose the size from small to large there are no particular indication for the sizes so i'll show you some clinical demonstration in this particular uh, scenario you can see uh, we have a maxillary second molar which requires endo and you can see the pulp chamber completely sclerosed and we do not see uh, a nice and big pulp chamber so it's it, it i would rate this case a little difficult and this is the beginning scenario and upon isolation when i'm beginning my endo with the conventional or the traditional aorta burst you can see that the aorta burst are pretty short in length and the head of my aorta handpiece or the high speed handpiece is blocking my vision when I am working so this can be dangerous because I do not visualize when I am cutting or deroofing because the area the, the width or the height of the pulp chamber is too narrow so I need to cut with much more control and hence I will stop using the air at a high speed burr here as it is completely blocking my vision and you can see the use of long neck burrs here since they are very the shaft is long it does not obstruct my vision and since it's used in slow speed like say the speed range between 5000 to 20,000 depending on at what speed and what control you have so as I'm cutting the roof and clearing away the debris that is being cut with the burr with the scaler to visualize where I am right now you can see the entire procedure is done with utmost control and these burrs are made of tungsten carbide so it's not that it's uh, it's very inactive it's a pretty active burr so I recommend to use some magnification and not to use these burrs blindly but they go a long way in locating these calcified orifices and here I'm verifying with my DG16 to check if my deroofing is sufficient and after deciding I need little more removal of the roof and the dentinal shelf in the pulp chamber we go ahead and do that with the same slow speed burr and after cutting with this I keep debriding with my scaler to flush away the debris you can see the pulp chamber is nicely exposed and we are ready to go with our instrumentation sequence now my DG16 is able to enter the orifice following which we are going to do the shaping or the orifice enlargement here It's not that this case cannot be managed without these long neck burrs, but we can easily avoid hydrogenic errors like damaging the floor or creating a perforation because like I already mentioned we are working with a lot of control. And we are ready to go. 
so it's not just for deroofing the roof of the pulp chamber it can also be used to manage such cases with deep splits uh, this is a mandibular premolar where you can see that uh, we need to deroof a little deeper to expose the lingual canal and here also they can come in very handy another uh, case where it's a calcific metamorphosis with a tooth having a lesion so uh, when there's a lesion we need to intervene endodontically and my CBCT confirms that I need to drill through some bit of dentin in the coronal third of the uh, root canal and to do so again it is not possible with high speed air burst so here also I am using these long neck burrs you can see I am using a much smaller one here compared to the one that I use for deroofing in the previous case demonstration and now we are able to gain patency and complete this case so in one of our previous videos I also spoken about the importance of these ultrasonic instruments for refinement and a lot of people had asked me the an alternative to these ultrasonics as these can be really expensive so these situations to remove the dentinal shell over these mb2s can also be done with these long neck burrs in a much economical way compared to the ultrasonics and also these can be extremely useful especially the purple one which is very tiny one can even be used during instrument retrieval to expose the instrument before the use of ultrasonics and that is how we manage this case you can see in spite of using these long neck burrs I haven't literally gouged or removed excessive tooth structure in the orifice level and we are not lost, lost a lot of root dentin as well so that's it for today and this particular product is available from Comet and the cost is mentioned in this uh, video in this picture here and I also given you the contact number of this dealer and uh, if you're really interested to know more about these long neck burrs we can even do some product comparison of different long neck burrs in the market in the upcoming videos do let me know in the comment box thank you and see you all soon